Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the new gunfight maps, Atrium and Cargo. Now, in this video, we're just going to be going around on the map, taking a look at a couple things. We're not going to be playing any actual gunfight gameplay. If you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments. I can upload it. I love gunfights, so it's not a problem. But we're going to start with Atrium, and we're going to do Cargo next. We're going to do both maps in this video, so stick around. Cargo will probably start about halfway through this video if you want to just skip to that one, or if you want to watch the whole thing, or you just want to watch Atrium, whatever you want to do, we'll cover it here for the two new gunfight maps in Modern Warfare. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I do not have the gunfight mode up, but I am going to assume these spawns are the same. One enemy is going to spawn here, one's going to spawn here, one right here, and one right here. So, I'm just going to run through this map exactly how I'd probably play it to start, oh my god. It's so much smaller than I really actually thought. Look at the mini-map. The whole map fits in the mini-map. Like that, that's actually insane. Alright, so there's not going to be much to go over here. But um, I was hoping you could get up on the second level. Are there any stairs? There is not. So it's going to be straightforward. This is going to be... This looks smaller than Gulag Showers. And I definitely think it is. So, alright, we got pillars. Man, even just going... It literally, no one's going to mid first. If you go to mid first, you're a clown. Like, you're going to have to hit one of these side aisles. And even then, it looks like you have an angle to see through where you can watch your crosses. So, I mean, this is going to be an interesting one to play. There's going to be a lot of sound whoring. Oh, man, this one's just going to be a standstill. You can watch this cross here. You can watch this cross here. Okay, I like that. There's a heady for each side to rush. Got the other heady here. And basically, you could sw you could straight up just switch sides on each other. And it's like you're playing the map from the other side. You can see through this fence here. Can You see you can see through both the fences here, so that's important to note. Let's see. You can hop up on here. See if you can do anything cheeky with this vase. All right, you can hop on the vase. I'm assuming maybe if you had a sniper and you could you could watch the cross right here and probably go for a headshot or something. It's gonna be interesting how this one plays out. You can hop up on here. Let's see, let's see. Any other cheeky things? Vases. You can hop up on the vases. You get up here. Oh, I was hoping not, man. It really was. Let's see what else we got here. This is like I said, it's gonna be one of the most straightforward gunfight maps. These are gonna be quick games. It's gonna be really quick games. You get up on all the vases. All right, so that pretty much covers all the outside. All right, you can stand on pretty much everything that's like at one height level higher. Hopefully there's no like glitch spots or anything stupid. All right, and get on pretty much all of these objects. That's cool. And get on top of this if you really wanted to get beamed. But uh, yeah, straightforward. There's not really anything else to go over. How do I think it's going to play? It's going to be one of the most fast-paced gunfight maps. It's going to be even faster than Gulag. There's going to be a lot less camping, in my opinion. I mean, you're just going to want to get this one over with. I like it. It's it's all going to be a gun gunfight gameplay matter. It's going to really come down to how it plays in gunfight. But the map itself, I like so far. So let's move on to Cargo. All right, guys, so here is our lovely, lovely spawn. Spawning, looking at a cargo container. So spawns are going to be right here and here, and this is what we're looking at. So this one's going to be interesting. I'm not really sure how I feel about this map in particular. So let's look. We have two stories here, one where you're pretty much going to get picked off on either side. I mean, let's be honest. Let's take a little, little stroll along the sides here and see what's going on. A lot of different heights here on this map. You got corridors. I mean, all right. All right. It's interesting. I kind of like it. Now, fall damage will be a factor in this gunfight map. So make sure you keep that in mind. You can get up here. I don't know, man. This is not one where I would recommend getting up on the top level, but I know people are going to do it. All right. Let's take a look at some of the lower aspects of it. A lot of headies. This is going to be a scary one right here. That one's going to be definitely dominant. You can basically climb on everything, which I kind of like. It's going to provide a pretty interesting aspect to it. That's going to be a disgusting corner. Watching that push. This just ain't right. I bet this is on all the stairs being under them like that. Can you go under this one? You can't go under this one. That corner is going to be nasty. This corner might be kind of playful. 
see what we got going on here. This is going to be a stupid corner as well. Can you go under here? Oh my god, if you could go under here, I would have to, I'd have to just ban this map. Alright, one thing. I definitely do not like how you can only get under one staircase. That's, that's bad. There's going to be a lot of people just camping right here. Like, this is a fantastic spot. You can't get shot from really anywhere except for... Like, you can look at the top balcony here. You can literally sound horn look through this one. You can... <laughs> this spot's nasty. That side's going to have that advantage. But then you have that heady over there. So, I mean, you take your go with your bat, I guess. You could hop up here. Let's see what else you can do. There's a lot of stuff, actually. I didn't think you could do that. Let's see what else we got here. I don't know. The, these maps... Um, I like both of them. Both of these new maps. I just feel like they're... They're different. I mean, that's good. Different is good. I like different. But nobody's pushing middle on this map. You put, well, you have a nasty head glitch right here. I mean, this side just has two nasty headies. One guy can post mid, and the other guy can post up top and, and watch your, your top and mid. I mean, but then this side, this is a pretty decent heady. You can check out over there, and you can't get picked from this heady. I don't think, but you know how cameras are in this game. We got this corner... No heady over here near the spawn. That I don't really like. So if you would want to look at that heady, you would have to peek your stairs and you get beamed right away. Let's be honest. You hop on here. Ooh, yo, this is the spot right here. I'm telling you guys, this ain't right. This is going to get patched or something. Something needs to happen with this. Oh, man. Good way to get some information right here. Actually, it might not because you can hop up on that. All right, interesting. Information spot right there. Information spot right here. Can't really do nothing there. This map's a lot more complex, and I like it for that. But definitely an interesting one. Once again, going to come down to how it plays on uh, just the mode itself. I want to see, can you see that staircase anywhere from here? Can you? Wh where's that staircase again? I'm tripping. All right, yeah, it's definitely over here. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, you cannot see that staircase from literally anywhere that you go. Can you see it from here? Ah, maybe. No, you cannot. So this staircase is definitely a, a problem. But other than that, I mean, this is an interesting map, like I said. It's going to all come down to how it plays out. I like it. I like both maps. Uh, that's the official decision from Aces Gaming. I like both of the maps. Like I said, going up here is probably just get, asking to get beamed. One thing I noticed from the thumbnail of this uh, map is this floating container. And it's actually going to be very, very interesting how people cook nades off of it. Now, you might think it's the stupidest thing ever and I don't have a nade on this class to give you an example. But if there's a spot on this map somewhere like this corner right here, actually, we might be talking business right here. Someone's in that corner. Nade spot off the crate. Right in that corner. If you guys are seeing what I'm saying. Just for example. So it's going to be a nade spot 100%. You can easily get one off of this crate. Now if you can angle it right. That's up for debate. But it's one of them things where it's something to know about. And going to help you in the long run. Guys that is it for my maps today. We're going to end the game. But if you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think. What are your first impressions right of both now, these maps? Cool. I kind of like both of them. I think the cargo map is more creative. And the other map is very very simple. But um... You know, they're both going to be interesting, interesting ways to play. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.